Welcome back to the video here on the Quap Whiskey Channel. Today we're cracking open Kirkland's Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. So let's crack it open and see what it tastes like. All right, let's go in for a nose. Mmm. Not as much peat as I would expect for like the nose. But I got a nice like floral, apple, peach, but more of like an orchard apple. Like, like you're walking around the trees a little bit, but slight hint of peat on the back end. The proof is a little bit there on the back has a slight like nose hair tinge, but I was at a hundred proof. Wow. I thought it'd be like rock bottom. But, yeah, when you take a big deep breath, the piece shows up. But it's more like an earthy peat, not really like deep smoke, charcoal, like, like, like dirt peat. This is more like a vegetation peat. Um, Yeah, has like that grassy, more mossy uh, peat note, but the floral, the apple, and all that kind of stuff. Nice sweetness. Um, I believe it doesn't have any aged humans at all on the bottle. Like it doesn't smell young. Like it, it, it is. It, you can tell it's young, but it's not like super, super bright in the nose. Okay, that's just tasty notes on that. I think on the back about age. Um, it is young, but it doesn't have that. It's like it has it, but it's not like all you get on that nose. It's like a glenfiddich, glenfiddich kind of like floral, nice young age statement nose, like that brightness, but just not the. Uh, it's not the like a super young scotch that's just like it's in your in your face and it's young all right let's go in for a taste Ooh, nice ashtray charcoal like a salted caramel candy but it's like one of those, like the soft candy you get, like in the clear plastics, where it's that salted caramel. Oh, but it's got like that rock salt on top of it. Oh, I was wondering what it says on the back. Golden brown color. Da, 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 da. That just doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I was wondering if it had anything else, but it's just the tasting notes. On the palate has a little bit more of like that younger brighter notes doesn't really give the the palate and the appearance and not appearance but the palate and the I would say the I don't want to say the rigidity but the, the body of it doesn't give you of like a higher age statement. it's definitely a lot younger it has the oils and it has all that but it doesn't have like the oomph behind it like a higher age statement scotch would have. Coast palate, very basic on the palate though. Like it's not as super complex. But coast palate, oils get there, gets on your cheeks, tines up a little bit, and then it slowly degrades away over probably about maybe 30 seconds. You get a little bit of linger of the oils, but the whole flavor profile is really diminished by then. You don't really get the apples as you do on the nose. Like it's just that smoke, ashtray, charcoal, wood fire, oils, but it's like a um, 
like a wood ashtray kind of oils. It's not directly like a oak or anything like that. Like it does have some oak, but it's not the main present notes. Mainly that ashtray charcoal, a little bit of like oak, like maybe like like a wood stain kind of uh, vibe is maybe what best way to put it. But it has like a charcoal oaky ashtray kind of nose on it. Yeah, I wish the palette had more of the uh, apple, the pear, and the orchard kind of like vibe on the palette because right now it's just that salted caramel and that uh, that peat, which is like that smoke ashtray kind of nose. But yeah, no basic on the palette, but still really like nose. Like I said, younger. If I would have guessed, probably, this is probably in the... Youngest barrels are in here probably about four to six years old, but there's definitely some uh, on the noses for what you get off of it. There's probably some higher Asian stuff in there for sure. Because I like that fruitiness, and I wonder what distillery it's from, though. But yeah, no, it's interesting. Definitely something to keep on the shelf, though. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. May the best of your past, may the best of your future. Cheers.